Henry Flagler's Florida Keys Oversea Railroad ceased operating in 1935, but two Keys women vividly remember childhood experiences riding the railroad that went to sea. Completed in 1912, it was called the Oversea Railroad because its track stretched more than 100 miles out into open water. For 23 years, it carried passengers from mainland Florida to and through the Keys. Minnie Dameron, who lived in the Upper Keys, remembers traveling to visit family in Key West. We get so excited when we knew we were coming to get the train and go all the way to Key West. We had put on our best clothes. My sister and I, we used to love to ride the train and look out the window. But when we come to the Seven Mile Bridge, it looked like you were riding on the water. So we'd get scared and hold another's hand. <laughs> Marie Gasser recalled boarding the train in Miami when she was five, sitting on a long seat between her parents during the journey while her mother gazed out the open window. She would say, oh, what beautiful colors in the water. Oh, well, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Oh, look at those fish. And I would jump up and run over to the window. And I wanted to see what she was seeing, but my chin fit on the windowsill. And I was standing on my tippy toes. Dameron and her family's last ride was the train's final journey to Key West, just before the Labor Day 1935 hurricane that slammed into the upper keys, damaging that area's railroad line. The trip wasn't inspired by foreknowledge of the storm, but instead to get treatment for her sick sister. She had a temperature, and my mother tried everything to get it down, and she couldn't, so we got the train to Key West. We would have been in it, but I was on the last train in here because of my sister being ill. Three years after the hurricane, the Florida Keys Overseas Highway debuted, built on a foundation that incorporated most of the original railway spans. But although the Overseas Railroad no longer stands, its place in history is assured. It's changed the keys forever, and what a blessing it was. I just wish it was still there. That's how much we loved it.